What do we got? We got us a scene one together with Kalingi XO as a feral druid. We got ourselves errorless, hoping not to make an error this round. Ronaldo, the retribution paladin, Reese, Reese's X, as well as Shark. A lot of paladins for a day, dude. A lot of paladins for the day. We got ourselves another paladin. We got Cut and Cutie over on team two with Calamity going to be going up first. On the back, we also got Lazy Kitty skills as well as Zyvok. And looks like Calamity playing of the assassination with a cheat death. Honestly, cheat death sometimes is a weird talent, but it might not be the worst. You know why? Because uh, Pally's got that burst. Drink it and a cloak of shadows coming down for Calamity. Big damage. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Wait a second. Huh? I don't think this man needed cheat death. It looked like the Paladin Shark might have needed a cheat death. I don't even know what happened. He just went in with the biggest damage. What was that burst? What did he do? Oh my god, what did he do? Calamity! What'd you do? Can someone tell me? Did he uh, did he do some cheese that I just missed? I just panned over to another person and he just melted that paladin. He didn't give him a chance. Just didn't even have a global to press bubble. I think I was just trying to make some damage happen. This man right here, dude. Maybe he's expected for everybody else to be running some kind of cheesy burst damage. Maybe that's why he's cheat death, just in case anybody else is doing it too. He's like, you know what? We go big, we play big, we win big or we lose big. <laughs> Deleted. Oh my goodness. Errorless, look at to see if we can find him. Phantom knives him out in the open comment. It was more or less where he's at. But Errorless is able to dive back into south. He felt like, you know what? I should try to see if I can get myself. Try to see if I can fan this rogue out. Climate hanging out by a corner. Errorless actually nearby Sap. Would feel like from a mile away. Quite, so quite a bit of distance on that thing. Does Calamity have the same burst as he did with the Paladin? Looks like he's actually going to sap Errorless and just wait it out. He's waiting, I think, for Vendetta and a Cloak of Shadow. I think he's just trying to go in for the biggest burst. Cover himself with a Vendetta or cover himself with Cloak of Shadows or Evasion. Going to be a full touch cap for Errorless. He's going to have himself quite a bit of a heal to work with here. Does he know what the other rogue is doing? By now, he must have known. He must have watched. It looks like Calamity is literally waiting full 20 seconds until Vendetta and Vanish are back up. I think Vanish is part of his burst, isn't it? I would imagine. So I do wonder what kind of a burst he goes for. Because this man's right here, dude. This man's right here is just cheesing. He's just straight up cheesing. He has a cool cooldowns available. Airless is out in the open. This is where Calamity could maybe make something happen. Better nice. Does he get sapped? He does get sapped. Calamity somehow does not get hit with that fan. Get a shot trigger for Calamity. Into blind, onto errorless. Trinketing with a blind onto calamity. Looks like he should be able to get an opener. Unless he somehow DRs himself. Decided, you know what? I better surprise this rogue. Sap comes out. Errorless. Using vendetta onto calamity to make sure he has no escapes. Garot. Calamity has opportunity to press the defensive right now. Before Kiddushot comes out. Looks like he does get to do so. Kiddushot by errorless. With a strata step to make sure he lands the Kiddushot behind him. Calamity has evasion. Does he have anything more else? That's going to be a cloak of shadows. Trying to go for a fan, get a shot. Oh, I don't know if he had himself a setup that time around. Looks like he ended up having to play a little bit back because Airless was able to get cooldowns out of Calamity. Was able to get a trinket out of him really early. Traded a trinket for a blind of his own. And now it's going to be your boy skills versus Airless. What was that rogue burst? We got to watch that rogue play again, dude. Calamity is doing something cheesy, something weird. Gonna be dodging and set up skills, drinking it out of the spikes with a stone onto airless, looking to make some damage happen. Gonna be a charge as airless, looking to just walk away from him. Skills getting dotted up, disarm onto the warrior, has no weapons to work with. Big damage by airless, not even a vendetta either. Gonna be a wall for skills. Does he have the second window? Looks like he doesn't. Defensive stance is what he's playing right now. Trying to go for a first aid, airless is gonna be able to get that ambush. And then get himself maybe a bit of a reset. Cutting Cutie is going to be up next. Are we going to be cutting rogues down or cutting onions as rogues are bursting down these palaces? Because already we're seeing a paladin with immunities, ironclad plated armor. Oh, actually, that was an interesting trinket. Looks like Errol is just going to smack down. Cloak of Shadows is up. Could go for a Shadow Set versus Cutie. 
looks like he is gonna not even doing that looks like it's gonna be instead smoke bomb trying to see if he can just walk away from the paladin maybe shot us up here does he get it looks like he doesn't even go for it airless is kind of in a bad spot can he shot into cutting does he have any way out looks like cutting does end up cutting the rogue down that trinket was very ballsy ronaldo just walking up trying to just greet the other paladin on the opposite team on the opposite faction it looks like ronaldo is going to be going for burst cutting by just to press bubble here and it's going to be not a bubble but a shield of vengeance into a blind into ronaldo trinket out of ronaldo cutting trying to get himself a bit of a heal could be a big defensive might have to go for that immunity got him some wings brock blind into cutting might just have to blind might just have to bubble it shackles does he bubble better bubble right now no oh no he thought he could live he thought he could get a word of glory off but the shackles of malediction prevented a lot of that healing with paladins with big immunities these paladins are just playing hard to just doesn't want to give up their big defenses at all Zyvok playing out the Necrolord Demon Hunter, which is, I'm liking that that's becoming more accepted, at least in PvP. Got himself the Blade Glaive Toss. Glaive Barat, Glaive Tempest. I, I need to remember what that ability is because most people are playing on uh, the Felrush Charge. Gonna be Ronaldo trying to see if he can survive it. Better press a bubble, unlike the other paladins. Better. Oh, what is with these paladins? Did they all unbind bubble just for the duel today? A lot of them are feeling like, you know what? I'll be okay. I'm a paladin. I got plenty of healing. Maybe a lot of them are too used to the fact that they have a ton of healing. Shackles out of Zyba, cancels one early. Looks like he does have a demon spawning in for himself. Gonna be a big heal as well as big damage if he picks up the soul. There goes the soul. He glows green. That's when you know he's gonna be lean, mean. Pumping machine, unless Zyvok just gets completely hunted and tackled to the ground. And looks like that's exactly what's happened. We're only six minutes into this duel, and the males are just melting. Big opener by Lazy Kitty. Trying to see if he can one shot Reese's. Reese's with that stun. Trying to see if he can crack through that fleshcraft shell by Lazy Kitty. Is he even able to darkness on Lazy? Just shreds him down. And Clingy versus Lazy. Lazy popping off some cooldowns, so he's gonna be in bear form. Trying to see if he can get Clingy out. Gonna be the Earth Souls by Lazy. Doesn't get Clingy out in the open though. He's still in south. He's just waiting now for the Earth Souls to be over. So if only Lazy knew that he actually has him. He actually got him in the Earth Souls. He actually had him the whole time. Clingy trying to get some dots up and running early. Big damage onto Lazy. That Fleshcraft Shield is going to last. Only for so long. Quick cy cyclone onto Clingy. As Lazy looking for the reset. Does he get the restyle? No, not. Oh, does he get a restyle? He does get the restyle. I was going to say. So at least Lazy might be able to get some decent dots in there. Going to be a big foul frenzy on Clingy with the swarm. Look at the bleeds just ticking down to Clingy. Look at that health bar go, dude. Look at that health bar go. Clingy is actually going to have the slime shield proccing. Has to find a way to mitigate it. Quick bash onto Lazy. Trinkets are available for both the Pharaohs. Walls available for both. Barsky and out of Lazy Kitty. Clingy with our thorns. Gonna be lazy with thorns as well. Clingy, I'm sure if he really wants to hit into thorns, both of them mirror each other with them regrows. Gonna be skull bash by Lazy. Quick roar by Clingy. And it really it looks like Lazy got a little bit of advantage here. He is in cat from wall coming out for Clingy. Trying to get some bleeds back to Lazy. Gonna be the Ursus keeping him at bay. So you actually can see Rest Infinity versus Guardian Infinity. We'll see which one ends up being more popular and which ones end up winning. Clingy with that trick out of the bash into a maim. Lazy got plenty of blades up and running. Quick maim by Clingy is able to at least get himself some self-healing. Might want to pop in a bear form, maybe go for friends in regen. I think it might not be a bad idea. He's kind of low on health. Looking for the regrowths. Looking for regrowths, but he could go for friends in regen with that swarm on himself. It looks like Clingy is at least able to sneak away for him to restyle for a second. Lazy doesn't want to give him the opportunity at all. Quick roar into the cyclone. Lazy could shrink it out of it if he wanted to. Not going to Clingy. Looking for that reset. Is he going to be able to? We're only 8 minutes into this duel. 21% day, but it's going to be flash cap for one, flash cap for the other. And looks like Clingy should be able to recover quite a lot of health. Clingy, though, maybe making a miss by here, did not flash cap while in bear form. So you actually lose out on a little bit extra shielding. While in bear form, you get a little bit extra armor and stamina. The stamina part is the most important part for the flesh cut because it actually gives you a bigger shield because it's based off of your current health this is why warriors and other classes might use like a battle master trinket or rallying cry with a pvp talent in order to make sure that they have a fatty fatty shield quick maim onto clingy lazy looking to end the zool right here does he get you though i think it's over and lazy taking him out what was that burst by that first rogue by the way calamity what'd you do to the paladin i don't understand Dude, everybody came in with burst. Paladins couldn't even press bubble fast enough. 
what is going